What's up people, it's Sopan from TechCycle. In this video, I'm going to show you guys an Android application which can be used to unlock all the graphic settings in PUBG which can be used to improve the dynamics in the game. If you got a low-end devices or if you are feeling your game is laggy, you can use this application to improve the FPS count which can make this PUBG snappy. Also, snappy, snappy. application name is dfx tool and is available in play store i will leave the link in the description you can just click there and install the application so before we jumping to the configuration of this dfx tool you need to know what my fps count before using this dfx tool and after using the dfx tool so we can compare it so here is my pubg settings and at the top right corner you can find the fps count i'm using games application and I am using AZ rec screen recorder to record this screen. So this both AZ screen recorder and this games. The application showing the FPS is using my resources. So the FPS count is going to be very much lower than what I am getting usually because of the resources used by both this application. On my main menu, I am getting a solid FPS count of 58 to 60 frames per second. So it's smooth experience on main menu. When I enter to the graphic settings, you can find that I can only access till balance option and on frame rate, I am getting only to medium option. All other options are dark out or it's not available in that menu. And by using the GFX tool, we can unlock all those things. But before using this GFX tool, let's jump into the game to see the frame per second. On the game section, I just changed my graphic settings to balance to see the difference between this gfx tool and this not using gfx tool and on the game i'm getting 40 30 20 it's not constant and it's shifting to very low while i'm moving very fast so it's not giving me a smooth experience that's the experience of playing pubg without using gfx tool and my resource being consumed by this AD screen record and this game application. So I'm going to open this GFX tool. On there, I'm going to choose the version X 0.6 is the game version. And from the resolution to 960 to 540, reducing the resolution to very much lower. And on the graphic settings, I'm choosing it as balanced. If you want a smooth experience, you can use smooth, not so smooth, smooth SD. Just use smooth. For this, as I have played the PUBG before, as a balanced option, I'm going to use it as balanced now. And on style, I'm using the classic. On shadow, disabling that graphics, open GL 3.1 and anti aliasing disabled. And I'm going to accept that and it's going to automatically run the game. So it's going to take some time to load the game. I'm going to skip that game plan. On graphic settings, you can find that all graphic options are unlocked that is hd hdr are unlocked ultra hd is not available on the frame rate section you can find that it's available low medium high extreme it's available like that and there is a new option called anti aliasing i'm going to disable that i'm not going to touch on that options and while playing the game you can find that i'm getting a constant 50 to 60 frame per second while playing the game even after my resources are used by this ag screen recorder and the games application I'm still getting a solid FPS count of 50 frames per second to 60 frames per second. Sometimes it's just lowering to 30, but it's not that much mattering. So that's all about the increasing FPS count. Also, if you want, if you are like, I just need only 30 FPS per second, but I need that dynamics in the game, you can use this option to change that. Like on the resolution section, you can change that to 960 to 540. And on the graphic settings, you can change that to HD or HDR. That doesn't matter because the graphics will be very high end. I have played it, I liked it very much, but you cannot get that snappy experience, so you will get killed fast. And on FPS section, just put that to 60 frames per second. On NDRising, just disable that. So that's all about this video, guys. If you think this video sucks, hit that button. If you think this video is awesome, hit the like button and stick with us so you might find something interesting.